Andrea Mercier, aka Anlom, and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to do um, another video for the Let's Begin Painting with Acrylic Paints. The official videos with my niece are over, but uh, you can go right there and check out the playlist of all the classes that we had. What I want to do today is clean up the um, paintings a little bit and show you how to varnish them. So these are the two I'm going to be varnishing. This was the uh, fruit bowl still life that we did. And then this one here is the second landscape that we did. This one does not really need to be cleaned up, but on this one, I noticed there's a little black mark there and it's, it's bugging me. And once you varnish something, that's it you can't you can't fix it so I just want to zoom right in here can you even see that on the screen you can't even see that on the screen huh well I just wanted to I don't really recommend that you take a knife to your paintings I just want to take that black off and of course that is taking off a little bit of the orange. So what I was going to do is just take a paintbrush and a little, just a tad of an orange and just just cover up that little white mark. There's also this corner here that is too dark. I think I tried to fix it the day we did the painting and I just need to lighten it a little bit. There we go. There we go. So now it looks like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> So what we'll do is, is, so the reason why I wanted to show you this is if for whatever reason you have little marks on your paintings, don't worry about it too much, especially with acrylic because you can always, you can always go over it. You can always um, change it there. It doesn't look white. I don't see that black mark anymore, which is really bothering me. And when it dries, we will be able to varnish it. So what we'll do is I'll varnish this one in real time. And by then, this one will be dry and I will varnish this one in fast forward. So these little canvas panels are wonderful. I'm just going to put something under it to raise it up off the desk a little bit so that I can varnish all the way around the edge without it sticking. Now, there's many different ways to varnish. I have a video right here that shows you how I varnish really large pieces. But this particular methodology is good for any sized painting, but I really like using this for small paintings because it's nice and quick. And these canvas panels can be hard to hold. So when I do my spray on a larger piece, there's, there's no more really to hold this. So I do like doing this method because then I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to be using a uh, matte medium today. This is a matte painting. There's absolutely no gloss to it. So I wanna keep it that way. We're gonna be using a small container and a foam brush. So there's a few things that you need to know. It's better to put some medium in here into a little bowl as opposed to pouring it directly on. I've seen people do that. I have done it myself. However, you get an uneven coat of varnish and then you have to pull the varnish. And that's when a lot of people make mistakes. When you pull varnish through itself, it starts to dry right away and then when you're pulling through it back and forth trying to move the varnish around 
you end up with streaks, you end up with little dry bits being pulled through, it can be not good. You also don't want to have a big container and to be dipping your brush in and doing it and then dipping your brush in again because it will contaminate the jar of varnish that you have. And you can use real varnish. I have a matte varnish as well. It's much more liquidy than this. And um, I usually only use this matte varnish to mix with gloss medium to give it a satin. I, I've never used this alone. I've always used the matte medium instead. Um, no particular reason. It's just a preference. This is a little bit thicker. And um, I use this in my art as well. So it's just more convenient to have one thing instead of 17 different kinds of varnish. But this varnish works really well to create a satin with that gloss. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get down to technique. So you want to put an amount of the medium here in the container. Whatever you put in here, didn't, any leftovers does not go back in the bottle. So be judicious and you can always add more to the bowl, but you can't put back into this container. That will contaminate it. So the trick to this is I like to use a foam brush on these small ones. The trick to this is, is not this brushing back and forth. That's where you get into trouble. You get a lot of bubbles and you get that pulling again where you're pulling through drying varnish with new varnish. What you want to do is get a nice amount on the end of the brush and in one stroke, just go right across. You want you can go back immediately there you go there's one line you want to make sure you overlap and again you want to be really careful with the back and forth you don't really want to go back and forth you just want to pull it straight across like this and just keep enough varnish on your foam brush to keep it wet. Now see here there's a little bit extra so I just very gently come back. None of this. You don't want to be doing that. And again straight across. I'm going to come this way just because there's none there. And right here. I also like these um, matte medium and gloss mediums because they won't drip right over the edge right away. I find the liquidy varnish sometimes will drip. And it's getting dry on this end, so I'm just gonna come back this way. Again, we don't want to overwork the varnish. Now, while we're talking about varnishing, I want you to know that you don't have to varnish an acrylic painting. When acrylic paint dries, it cures into a plastic. So it's not necessary to varnish, but I was finding that as these were sitting around, it's very busy in my house. We have several businesses here and we were getting like they were getting little dings and that black dot that was on the orange painting that came from another painting session. Then you just want to go around the edge just very carefully clean up any extra. Ooh, don't want to do that. There I go. Very, very gently. And get it wrapped around. It's like when you're doing your nails and you do the polish and you wrap around the end. It's the same thing. Then you don't want to touch it. 
you want to leave it somewhere, lie flat and let it cure overnight. Uh, painting this small will only take a couple of hours to cure. If you're going to put a second coat on for whatever reason, because you feel like the next time I would turn it around and I would pull from the other side to make sure there's a nice even coat, you want to make sure it sits for 24 hours and it's completely cured. And then with this little, um, this is just a container of molding paste, I'm going to take that and move it and let it dry. All right, so then the second one, I'll get another container out here. This is now dry. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go back and forth. And I'm going to do this one and fast forward just so that you get to see it again. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way. So you just want to make sure that you have a nice amount and away you go. There you go. So this will level off, this will cure. Oh, there's that one spot right there that's really a little bit too much. You have to be really careful when you're pulling your brush back through or your foam brush back through. Just try to avoid it. I know sometimes it's, it's hard because you're going, oh, see like right here, it had already started to dry and it pulled a little bit. So. Worst case scenario is if you varnish, once it's cured, if you find it's a little bit bumpy, you can use a really, really super fine grit of sandpaper, like super, super fine grit, like 400, 320, something like that. Just give the area a little bit of a sand, wipe it with a damp cloth, let that dry, and you can re-varnish the entire thing. You just can't varnish the spot that you fixed. You have to re-varnish the entire thing to even it out. That's a worst case scenario. Now, that's why some people like to use a spray, and I do spray a lot of my stuff, but I wanted you to be able to see this if you're going to be a hobby artist um, and doing these little paintings you might not have a space to be spraying you might not have a space to do large pieces this matte medium or gloss medium you can get at any michaels you can get foam brushes at your local hardware store so these are tools that you'd be able to use without going into specialty products specifically for acrylic painting so what i'll do is at the end of this video i'll take some pictures of what these look like dry and then you will be able to see the final results. But this will protect this, prevent me from getting any more black spots on it. And then I think I'm going to sell these. I mean, they're actually really pretty. I like them. I like the way they turned out. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you are enjoying the Let's Begin Painting with Acrylics playlist. If there's something you'd like me to show you, I have absolutely no problems doing up a quick little video and giving you some beginner tips and tricks when you're starting out with acrylic products. It's always better when you're here. Bye! So just popping back quickly to show you what these look like after they have cured. I'm just going to turn them so you can see on the side. Still nice and matte. A nice finish. This one as well, nice finish. You can see right here, there's a little minor where there was some, a little bit too much varnish. But other than that, that looks fantastic. I did want to mention a couple of things. One, during the end of the last portion of this video, I said that I was varnishing it to protect it so I don't get any more little black spots on it. I wanted to explain that, that now that it is varnished, if something gets on it, I can at least wipe it off or sand it and re-varnish. I didn't mean that this had magical properties and paint wouldn't splatter on it anymore. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Anyways, 
thanks for being here and watching this varnishing video. I really appreciate you being here and this is so close to the holidays. I wanted to give a shout out to everyone and say I hope that you enjoy whatever holiday you're celebrating at this time of year. Um, if you're interested in supporting me, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you look in the dibbly doos, I now have links um, for all the products that I use with Amazon. So I'm an affiliate now. I get a percentage back of any sales that go through those links. And I have a Patreon now, again, to support me so that I can get a better camera and some lighting and bring better videos to you. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for being part of my artful journey and I will see you in 2018.